Um, oh. Um, are we starting? Start. Okay. So, if you've come to conferences over the last few years, you'd have heard lots of people talking about marketing. Uh, and over the last six months or so, a lot of that talk has come from marketing. <laughs> um, who you've obviously spotted is someone who, if not born for the job, was at least named for it. <laughs> so, marketing, the question is, why do we do it? Well, you ask people and they say, we do it to get more Perl programmers. Is this really a good idea? <laughs> Think about it. Um, I can prove this with science, uh, or at least with history. Some of you look as though you might have been around in 1995. <laughs> uh, some of you were born in 1995. <laughs> so in 1995, Perl was really popular. It was the really cool thing. Um, Everyone wanted to learn Perl, and the biggest and most important Perl resource on the internet at the time <laughs> was not a great advert for Perl. So, more Perl programmers actually means more bad Perl programmers. More Perl programmers means more time wasted on Stack Overflow explaining the return values from local time. So people can't read the, the manual. So is popularity really what, what we want? This is a scientific fact <laughs> uh, that I've just made up. Uh, but I've never yet found a counter example. So some of us like to call ourselves Pearl, pearl Mongers. Uh, so I can see with the, the word monger. Uh, I looked it up on the internet. Uh, it, it, it's a dealer in a specific, com a specific commodity normally used in, in combination in things like a cost monger. Uh, but it also means, uh, so perhaps there's some of this. <laughs> some of us also call ourselves Pearl Monks, for example. And that also um, has that um, kind of there's the peaceful side and the shaman heads and meditation and stuff, but there's also the kick-ass Buddhist kind of thing. <laughs> so maybe we should look elsewhere for ideas of how to name ourselves. <laughs> of course, we need to get rid of the G in case people think we're worshipping Guido or, 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 or something like, like that. So maybe something more like that, or perhaps even that for the old schoolers. But yeah, I'm talking about Pearl Masons. <laughs> we don't need popularity. We should be aiming for exclusivity. <laughs> we should become secret society. Membership <laughs> <laughs> by <laughs> Larry Grandmaster. Secret monthly meetings. <laughs> so actually that's not too difficult, too well, different. <laughs> different from the way that some people groups run, them, run themselves. The, the arcane knowledge can be passed on, again, not too different to, to what we're doing at the moment. Obscure websites. Uh, sorry, Leo, but... <laughs> <laughs> the Pearl Foundation can go underground. <laughs> completely different to the way things are at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't know what that means, I highly recommend you looking it up and using it in all your life. <laughs> <laughs> now we have a secret handshake. Now, um, I gave this talk in Riga and, and, and Damien came up with one, but too many people broke their wrists when trying to <laughs> so I'm still working on, the, on, on that. Yeah, increased call factor. Money, have you ever seen a Mason's Lodge that is short of money? Think about it. So you know it makes sense. Say no to pearl marketing. Say yes to pearl masons. And remember, the first rule of all is you do not talk about pearl. Thank you very much.